Oh, there we go. Holy cow. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Stormworks, and today we're checking out the RMS Ophelage. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, and here we are on board, I've got the ship moving, the lights on, and one thing that you do want to note is that the ship does require infinite electricity, but that is fine. And another thing that is really interesting about the ship is how lag-free it is. It's really great for lower-end, um... PCs and laptops I believe because I'm not getting any lag and all the lights are on and everything so that is really cool so let's go ahead let's get inside the ship and take a look at what this ship has in store uh, interior wise now if we look on the inside of the bridge we have a watertight door panel we have the two sinking methods we have the light controls and of course the bridge controls making our way aft we have a nice chart room the captain's cabin and uh, seating area over here we have a radio room, which is really cool. It's nicely detailed as well. And then obviously some officers' cabins on the left and right. And if we make our way aft here, we're actually out of the officers' quarters and on the main boat deck. Now the lifeboat span from the very front of the boat deck to the aftmost portion of the boat deck. And that is really cool, good for safety. Um, I don't know if they are functional or not. They don't actually look very functional with the uh, lifeboats directly being attached to the ship. But I know that this one is, which is really good for performance. Because when you're on the ship, you're really only going to have a few players or just yourself. So you don't need all the lifeboats. But we're going to go ahead and make our way into what looks to be the Grand Staircase. And yes, it is. It's definitely Titanic or Olympic class style with the clock here and the main stairs going down. So let's make our way down to A deck. And making our way down to A deck, you have what looks to be a wonderful lounge and smoking room space. You've got a lot of seating, tables, and also a beautiful marble fireplace. And you also have what looks to be just a, a mantle place clock there as well. So that is really, really nice. So let's go ahead, let's make our way forward of this and see what else is in store on A deck. Making our way forward, we don't have any access to this space. Yeah, it looks like it's completely closed off, but I like that there's uh, some lights being put here just to kind of make it look like there is an interior space there even when there isn't. So let's go ahead and make our way one deck down here and now we're on what looks to be the well deck here, yep. And, uh, yeah, these are locked off, unfortunately, so there's no crew spaces forward of that. But, yeah, that's all right. And, uh, yeah, so that is uh, pretty much the well deck space. You've also got these, uh, these benches here, which are nice because they have actual slats in them, unlike just solid uh, blocks. But uh, if we make our way aft, of course, this is also closed off. I would just assume that these are uh, passenger cabins and things like that. But going through here, we will be on B deck. And as you can see, yep, B deck there. You have uh, just some seating here. I really like the blue. Uh, I did notice that there's uh, some blue tables as well when we make our way down one more deck. And I also like the plants all around as well. It does give it a really nice uh, look. And if we make our way down to C deck, this is where we have the dining room. And you have this really nice dome with these arches here as well, which is really nice. One weird thing, though, is that the chairs are facing the wrong way, but it just could be a, a stylistic design. Um, I do like the carpeting on the floor here. But uh, yeah, you've also got the uh, chandeliers around as well, or just the lights around. And yeah, that is really the dining room. It's not too detailed, but it really does save on performance. So let's go ahead and make our way back out. And this is actually where you'd be boarding the ship. You see that we actually have gangway doors here, so that's really cool. And uh, I, again, I really like the blue here, especially uh, the blue chairs and the, uh, the blue tabletop as well. And if we make our way over here, we actually have a purse's office, and uh, this is really nice. It does remind me of Titanic quite a bit, or the Oceanic class, or the Olympic class. Um, and this is really cool. It's just a, a mini uh, purse's office, so yeah. All right, so making our way down to D-Deck, we have what looks to be Scotland Road, or a Scotland Road-style uh, hallway. Uh, making our way to the other side, we have just uh, a corridor, a very small corridor, and uh, that is as far down as we can go on this uh, staircase here, the grand staircase, and we can look all the way up and see the smoke from the funnels just passing by the dome, which is really nice. I really like that touch, uh, that you can actually look all the way up and actually see all the way to the outside instead of having that all closed off with the white blocks. So let's go ahead and make our way down uh, what seems to be Scotland Road. So. 
Uh, it looks like there's a door on the left. I'm wondering if that's locked or not. Yeah, that's unfortunately locked, so we can't actually go down there. There's a door back here. Is this also locked? Yes, it is. But there is uh, an aft staircase as well, so let's go ahead and make our way up here. On C-Deck, we have two gangway doors here, and then right over here, we have a second or third class dining space. I do really like the tiling here, and this kind of progresses all the way up and down the stairs, which is really nice. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way up to B-Deck. So we're just going to climb up these steps here, and here we are on B-Deck. We have a door out to uh, what looks to be the promenade sections here. Yep. And uh, going back over to the other side, it is obviously just the uh, promenade space as well. So there we go. So let's go ahead and make our way one deck above this one, which should be A deck, I do believe. And yep, A deck. So let's go ahead and uh, see. Yep, that just goes out to the promenades. And making our way all the way up, we will be on boat deck. And this is where we can quickly go ahead and exit out onto the boat deck. And this is where we want to go ahead and head aft because wondering if there's going to be some interior portions here all right so making our way down these stairs here can we go in here yes we can and oh wow this is uh just the the tool locker space uh you've got some first aid equipment of course fire extinguishers uh some welding torches and some other stuff so yeah that is really cool i like that that is included and uh yeah i think that's it i think that's the entire ship uh apologies if i have missed anything but this is a really cool ship and i do recommend uh you check it out so let's go ahead let's head back to the bridge and uh let's go ahead and sink this thing all right we're back on the bridge and we are going to be sinking by the simulated torpedo slash mine strike so let's go ahead and turn that there and uh, it should take a moment to happen but um we will see if something happens here i really hope it works because i am a little excited to actually uh see what what occurs here Oh, there we go. Holy cow. Wow. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, we are tilting onto our side here. Um, we can beach the ship. We can try to beach the ship. Um, wow. We just got blown out of the water there. And we are starting to list over pretty heavily. All right. Let's get our ship turned towards shore here. Uh, and hope that we can actually make it. So, yeah. This is not good. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead. Let's get these lifeboats swung out. All right, yeah, release the deck connectors. Swing out the davit here. All right, there we go. All right, so let's quickly winch it down. And I'm not going to release the lifeboat yet. I want to keep it here before we actually uh, jump overboard because um, I want to be able to experience the sinking a little bit. But we can go ahead and release the other boat. Oh, my gosh. It looks like this lifeboat has been blown onto the deck by the explosion. Um, let's see if we can push it here. Um, oh, it looks like it's uh, connecting itself again. That's fantastic. Um, but I don't think this is gonna work too well. Oh, no. Yeah, it's it's doing a whole Lusitania here All right, let's just release the lifeboat and hope for the best and there it goes. Oh, no Is that gonna hit the propeller? Oh, no, it struck the hull. Um, oh, no This is not good. It looks like the power is beginning to die as well. Let's make our way into the ship and check for damage um, Yeah, this is not good. The power is definitely dying All right, we're making our way down the stairs here And we are at the boarding doors and I don't see any water here. Let's make our way one deck lower here And yeah, nothing nothing at all. So uh, it definitely is below us at the stage the water and uh, Oh wow, look at that. You can see. Oh, no, these are open portholes. Oh, that's not good We're gonna go down fast then Okay, we gotta make our way back onto the deck immediately, and you can see the power is really beginning to die now. This is bad. This is very bad. Okay, I'm having a bit of struggles getting up the stairs. Really, really like the power simulated effects here, but uh, we are gonna be going down fast. I bet the, uh, the boiler rooms are rapidly flooding, the cargo holds are flooding, and the engine room will soon be flooding as well. And speaking about those lower decks, I gotta seal those watertight doors because uh, that's definitely important. That actually might slow the sinking. Um, let's quickly do that right now. All right uh, closing the watertight doors uh, It's a bit late for that now to be honest, but uh, as you can see uh, The water is rapidly flooding the ship because you can see the angle that we're at now and uh, One problem with uh, this lifeboat is we can't actually lower it now It's gonna get stuck onto the hull So there's only one way for this boat to get off the ship and we're not gonna be on it when it goes off uh, let's go ahead and let's release the lifeboat as you can see it just tumbles along the side falls into the water and luckily uh, No, I was about to say it would luckily right itself, but unfortunately it hasn't okay. We're gonna make our way down 
uh, and get ourselves uh, into the lower decks just to check out what's going on. I think this might be the last time we actually go into the ship. All right, uh, one last check of the interior spaces here. Um, yeah, you can see somebody left the portholes open and the water is rapidly filling the ship. Um, I don't see any water on these lower decks here, uh, but you can see that there's definitely water behind these panels. And the power is once again beginning to fail, and this time I think it's going to be permanent. Uh, the power has died a little bit here. It's slowly coming back, but not really. Okay, yeah, we got to get out of here. Uh, it, it's about to go down. All right, we're back up on the deck. Let's make our way out this door. I really don't care about leaving the doors open at this stage. Uh, I do actually want to see how far the ship has gone under. Let's quickly look over the bridge. Yeah, you can see the water on the well deck. So this thing is going down, um, and it is going quick. Look at this thing. This is actually a wonderful sinking. Um, and I'm wondering, oh, we can actually get those lifeboats in the stern down. This might be our only chance to get off the ship. And it looks like the power is... Uh, coming back which is good looks like the engineers below are actually staying to the the very end and uh yeah it looks like uh we are uh we are starting to really list over because these wires are now going through the deck which means we are really listing all right so we can't launch that lifeboat that one's a lost cause already uh but this one seems promising so let's quickly uh release the deck connectors and swing out the davit uh let's go all the way uh to swing it out here um, and let's go ahead, lower it down, and uh, then we can actually hop in it, but uh, once we hop in it, I want to go ahead and get back on board the ship, because I do want to experience it before it goes down, or actually right when it's going down, so release the lifeboat there and hop in. Let's see how stable this thing is. It's actually really stable. It is rocking just a little bit, but that's a lifeboat thing, so yeah, but as you can see, what a sight. The promenade's going under, and it's almost up to the bridge at this stage. If you can just kind of look over there, you can see the bridge wing there. So, speaking about that, let's actually make our way to the bridge. And as you can see here, the water has made it to the bridge wing, and the ship is going under fast. The very tip of the bow is just about to go under, and uh, I think this is uh, the time where we're going to be evacuating the... Uh, the bridge at this stage. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. We're, we're leaving. Oh, one thing that I have just noticed. It's a little late for this now, but, uh... There's a lounge here. There's a proper lounge. The uh, the other one must have been a smoking room, but this is pretty cool. You got a piano here and everything. I really almost missed this, but um, but yeah, I'm actually glad I'm getting to see it before the ship goes down and while the ship is actually going down. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to keep walking aft here. Oh yeah, this is it. Look at this. The water's starting to hit the funnel here, and uh, that means that this thing's going to go under pretty quick here. Um... Oh, wow, the water is actually starting to really rush up the deck here. Let's quickly hop over that. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. We do not want to fall into the grand staircase now. This is getting really hairy here. We got we to gotta move quick. And, uh, yeah, with the water starting to pour into all of these uh, open spaces. Ooh, sounded like something just opened there. Um, that's not good. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh, it's going. Yep, it's going. Oh, and we're in the water. There's no way we're going to be making our way to the uh, stern of the ship at this stage. Uh, let's just try to swim away. Oh, actually, you know what we could do? Let's head for that lifeboat that we launched earlier. And uh, if we look behind me, the uh, vents are going under the funnel. The very last funnel there is, is just sinking under. And, uh, oh, no, 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 don't do this lifeboat. Don't flip over. Oh, it's getting caught on the davit. No. All right, all right. Quickly. Try to pull it back. There we go. All right, we've got the lifeboat uh, back here, and you can see the ship is uh, pretty much on its side now. It's completely on its side, and uh, the funnels are gone, and yeah, wow, just the, the massive deck starting to come down into the water here. And the last bit of the ship is uh, going down here. As you can see, the, uh, the very fantail and rear superstructure is just slipping under the waves there. It was a beautiful ship, and now it is just a shipwreck. And uh, it's just kind of pausing before it goes under there. And the last little bit is that lifeboat to go under. So let's quickly head into no clip view to see this thing uh, sink to the bottom. All right, so as I expected, the ship has struck bottom, but this is going to create a very cool shipwreck. I do actually want to quickly dive on the ship before we uh, end out the uh, video. Um, and as you can see, uh, there's a sink back there filling the ship with water, and there it goes. It has settled on the bottom, and uh, oh wow, yeah, it looks like those davits didn't have a fun time landing on the bottom there. 
But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check out this ship once it's done uh, filling with water. Okay, so it's been a bit and the ship has settled on the bottom and completely flooded. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the bottom and we're gonna do a bit of an exploration of the ship. So we're not really gonna go inside too much, but I do wanna see what the ship looks like when it's fully hit the bottom here. So as you can see, the lifeboats are still in place and the funnels are nicely attached, which I don't think they would. I think they would have been all collapsed down, but um, yeah, the ship looks really nice on the bottom. It looks like an actual shipwreck. Um, and this is just really nice. So as you can see here, the ship has made full contact. The davits have been pushed in, and uh, the whole ship is just slowly going to start decaying over time, and uh, eventually will disappear into a pile of rust. But yeah, so yeah, that's been the sailing, sinking, and wreck of the Ophelich. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>